Today I'm going to bend the cutaway for an arch top guitar. I've, I've bent the, the basic shape on a press, but the cutaway, I don't have a press to make that. So instead, I'm going to use my trusty old copper pipe and a propane torch. And what I'm going to do is stick the propane torch into the end of the copper pipe, wait for the copper pipe to get really hot, and once it does, I will bend the wood back and forth, roll it across the, the plate, the copper pipe. The curly maple for the side of the guitar is about 80 thousandths of an inch thick, which is two millimeters. So at that thickness, I can bend relatively easily. The biggest risk, this maple is so curly, and every time you see these beautiful curls, what's happening is the wood fibers are changing orientation to a different direction. And if I try to bend the wood too aggressively, rather than bending, the wood actually breaks at these lines, so I have to go pretty carefully while I'm doing this. I'll let that heat up for a couple minutes, and while it does, I'm going to wet down the maple. Okay, now the water is sizzling as soon as it touches the pipe, so I'm ready to start bending the wood. Um, the other tool I'm going to use for this, I've got this piece of sheet metal attached to a couple blocks of wood, and I'm going to hold this on the outside surface as I bend, and that'll help reduce the likelihood of, of any tears in the wood along the curl lines. So I applied gentle pressure to coax the wood into bending as I rock it back and forth on the hot pipe. And you can see already it's starting to bend a little bit. Definitely bending now. So I'm going to check what I bent against my form here to see if I'm in the right place. that actually looks pretty good. I have to reduce the bend a little bit. It's uh, curving in a little more than I need it to at this point. So I'll make the adjustment and keep going. Looking pretty good. See, there's it conforms quite nicely to the side here. So now I'm actually going to start bending in the opposite direction.
progress here. Just about there. And a little bit more to bend in this curve. Okay, last check, and I'm happy with how that fits, so I'm all done. Shut off the torch. You can see there's just a little bit of superficial scorching of the maple, but that will sand right off before I ever put the finish on the guitar. So there we go, that's the process.